Well, I mean, I, I'm really pleased with our effort and our execution of a plan tonight. I think our, our focus was really good. And, um, you know, NC State's a good team, and we started a lot of, of fight tonight. So happy with the result. I think that uh, is a great sign of the character of this group. You know, we were under a lot of pressure in the second half for, for various stages. And when you've spent that much energy at times defensively, you know, and, and then you finally crack a little bit, you give up a deflected goal, uh, it could be easy to, to sort of feel as if you got nothing left to, to push in the last 10 minutes. But, um, you know, we rose to the occasion and we actually scored a goal. Um, from a situation that we've been talking a lot about where we needed to get some harder running in the box. The, the first player needed to make a harder run to essentially draw the attention of defenders. And that's what we got. You know, Darren Kukuslu came off the bench today and gave us some really good minutes, made a really hard run when he knew that Julian was, was going to have an opportunity to serve and it really cleared space for Cole at the back post. Yeah, I mean, I'm really proud of the older guys. You know, we had some conversations with a lot of those guys this week just about, uh, you know, not trying to take too much weight on their shoulders for for results and really just trying to make sure that they individually were having good performances. Or if they're guys that play next to each other, like, you know, Ricardo Tanner and Sam Galan, for example, that, that uh, as a group, as a unit, that they were collectively just trying to have a good performance tonight. And, and I thought that uh, all of our older players really showed up tonight. Yeah, I mean, I hope that there's that that's just a sign of things to come for Kieran. Again, you know, he's he's long and he's agile, and he's going to get to a lot of balls. Um, his reactions were good tonight. I think his handling was good, and again, he he relieved a lot of pressure sometimes with his kicking game as well. So, um, you know, we we gave him a chance tonight. He had he had a fair bit to do, but we we were better in terms of of uh, putting him in positions where he could make saves as opposed to giving up some of the soft goals that we gave up in, in the first you know game or two. Well, I mean, after playing 110 minutes tonight, um, where we did a lot of, of running, we'll have to be really sharp with our recovery. You know, guys will have to be really responsible in terms of the way that they prepare over the next couple of days. Um, and of course, from a staff standpoint, you know, a conference game has a different feel to it. We we don't have an easy start with Wilmington, obviously, who we expect to be one of the one of the better teams in the league. But uh, you know, I'm sure that we'll we'll be encouraged by the performance tonight. We'll be trying to build on that and continue to grow and. Um, you know, the, the goal remains the same as it was before the hurricane canceled last week. It's trying to get off to a good start in the conference and, and try to get maximum points at home if we can.